Hello everyone and welcome to EH141 Oral Communication for Spring 2023. My name is Kelly Lloyd. I'm going to be your instructor this term. For those of you that have had a class with me before, welcome back. It's good to have you again. For those of you that are new, welcome. I look forward to working with you this term. I've been teaching at JSU for six years. As an adjunct, I teach uh, the oral, the freshman comps 101 and 102. This class, oral communication, and 203 and 204, which is introduction to British Lit. So if you enjoy this class and you want to sign up to take me again in the future, um, I would always welcome that. You can always take me again for another class. So hopefully we're going to have a great semester. This class is traditionally taught in the classroom. I remember when I took oral communication, I took it uh, with about half the JSU football team and it made it very challenging and difficult, um, but I learned a lot, you know, having to force myself to get up there. But, you know, we've retooled a lot of these classes now that we've kind of gone online and, and working, focusing mainly on the skills that you're going to need to be successful moving forward in your, um, your later college classes that you're going to take. And so that is exactly what this class is, is a preparation for the types of public speaking that you're going to need to know how to do um, in your classes moving forward. Forward. So I wanted to take just a couple of minutes and show you around the course in Canvas where to find all the information. Um, there's a lot about this course that is self-paced that you can work on uh, at your own time. Um, but then there are also those things that are due on a, on a timeline. And so I kind of wanted to kind of go through that with you today so that you would have a good background um, knowledge on where to find all of that stuff. So when you log in to Canvas, you'll notice that on the left-hand side, the picture screen right here, you have some quick links. That's where you can check your grades, where you can find the modules, my JSU and JSU EDU, obviously. On the right hand side are your to do list. I know they're all up there for you. Um, and uh, on the right hand side, I know that to do list looks a little bit daunting, but I promise they're spaced out enough so that they're not, it's not a stressful, a stressful thing. Below that, you have some student learning outcomes, and then below that, you will find my contact information, and I'll also share my cell phone number with you in an email so that you will have that as well if you need to reach out to me. I'm very responsive. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I want you to be successful. I'm not dangling some kind of carrot over your head. Um, I want you to have a good course. I want you to have, learn a lot, and, and I want you to be successful, and so I make myself available for you to reach out if you have questions or concerns or need some extra help okay um so this course is pretty cut and dry there are six um lectures with notes um that correlate to six quizzes. So there's a quiz for every lecture. Um, there are six TED Talk analysis activities. Um, and those are, um, you know, one of the best ways to become a better speaker is to kind of um, view and emulate good speakers. And so that's what the purpose of those activities are. And then you will have five speeches that you will complete over the course of the term. So I wanna kind of show you where to find everything here. So the first uh, thing that you'll notice is a course overview and schedule and modules. On that page, you will see the video that you that I am doing right now is here for you located there in case you ever need to go back in and check anything. Below that will be a PDF copy of the JSU official syllabus for the course. And then below that are is a schedule uh, and due dates of what you should be working on. I kind of set up my class to be a Tuesday, Thursday, every other Friday kind of thing. You know, speeches are are due on Fridays and so um, we don't work every Friday obviously mainly Tuesdays and Thursdays um, but before we kind of jump into the schedule I want you to make sure that you're very mindful of due dates. Assignments have to be submitted by 11.59 p.m. on the due date. With the exception of quizzes, there'll be a window for you to get that submitted. And uh, it's usually during the school day and not at night where I can't um, review those quizzes while you're taking them. They, um, but any work that is submitted past that point will incur a penalty of 10% per day late. Uh, the TED Talk assignments, you have some wiggle room. You can, can submit those early. 
um, but the speeches and quizzes must be submitted as scheduled. You can't take a quiz early, okay? Quizzes, if you are on the PV campus and you're taking this class online, you have to take the quiz with me in person. If you are not um, uh, on campus with me, you're taking it at home, you're taking it at a different school, then you will um, schedule a time to take the quiz so that quiz can be monitored, and we'll talk a little bit more on that coming up uh, closer to our first quiz. Quizzes are pretty short, seven to 10 minutes max to complete, um, but failure to take the quiz on the due date without a prearranged uh, exception from me will result in a zero for that quiz, so it's very important that you stay on top of that. Okay, all your resources are located in the individual modules, and each of the assignments are hyperlinked in this document, um, as well as in each of the modules. So there's lots of places you can go and turn in work and, and view work, that kind of thing. Uh, there is a printable version. I encourage you to um, print that out so that you'll have the copy of this schedule uh, in front of you. And um, that's um, pretty helpful. But the one that is listed here has these hyperlinks um, for you to be able to submit work online. You'll notice that quizzes are always on Tuesdays. TED Talks are always due on Thursdays, and speeches are always due on Fridays. So that kind of helps, kind of keep help you keep track inside your mind. Um, uh, you know, it's a Thursday, and you're like, oh my gosh, I have a quiz today. No, it's not a quiz day. Tuesday's a quiz day, Thursday's a TED Talk day, and Friday is a speech day. So all of those here, what your activity, what you're supposed to do, and then if there's anything due, it'll be hyperlinked for you here in this course schedule. Um, going back to the modules, taking you to the lectures. Um, this is a series of lectures that is really going to help you. It's going to break down all the components of public speaking, um, verbal and nonverbal communication, uh, understanding the impact of purpose, occasion, and audience, and speech making so that you can prepare effective speeches, um, learning how to, um, you know, just really um, organize and, and plan effective speeches and um, help you with those uh, processes in your future classes as well. So this screencast that you see here are the lecture. I'm going through the lecture. You'll hear my voice I'm going through the lecture notes and talking about the different components. The notes themselves are hyperlinked underneath there, so you uh, can, if you're a visual learner, maybe you like to kind of read as you listen, uh, the notes are here for you, you can read and follow along with the lecture notes. Down here are the lecture handouts, and this is something to me um, that is really helpful It'll be helpful to you as well if you want, if you have access to a printer, uh, you want to print these documents out because they will give you a study guide because what is on the lecture uh, that is in bold will also be on your quizzes. So that's here for you. Print those out, fill them out as you're listening to the lecture, and then you'll have a great study guide to help you with your quizzes. And so all six of those are here as well. D directly below that are is the schedule of quizzes and the link that will take you to the quiz on the day that is due. Each one of the quizzes has a um, code to get in. So on the test day, you'll text me and I'll give you the code or email and I'll give you the code to take the quiz and then you'll start that quiz, be ready to take it when you text me the code and you'll start that quiz within just a couple of minutes of receiving that X access code. All right, headed back to the modules page, you will find the next module, if it will, I thought I was fixing to get the wheel of death. Uh, you'll find the TED Talk speech analysis. I love TED Talks. Um, I hope that there are some of you that have listened to TED Talks before. There, you, can, you, know, you can find a TED Talk on just about anything these days. But again, one of the best ways to become a better speaker is to study the moves that good speakers make. And so that really is the purpose of these TED Talk activities. It's taking those concepts that I'm talking about in the lecture series and then um, seeing that in play in the, um, in the in these TED Talk speeches, so that you can analyze them, you can analyze their effectiveness, and then maybe hopefully emulate and incorporate them into your own speeches. So there are six of those. The links to each of those are here. 
below that, you will find a schedule of the TED Talk assignments. And I just wanted to kind of show you really quick the assignment, the due date, um, and then a place to turn it in. But this is the important component here is this worksheet. And I'm actually going to download it so that we can open it full scale for you to be able to see it. Good. So the first page of each of your analysis activities is basically just a um, comprehension. I'm listening, I'm watching the TED Talk, and I'm filling out comprehension, either questions or notes or um, guided discussion on the TED Talk itself, okay? So there's always that page, um, and it's tooled to each one of the TED Talks. Below that, on the second page, there is a um, kind of a, a scale a rating scale where the speech factors that are listed on the left hand side these are all things that I'm going through in the lecture series you'll deem those effective if the speaker is effective in in, in his conversational style is is intelligible um, <laughs> I'm sorry no excessive movements and gestures but the ineffective and effectiveness of those things and then you'll justify why you gave it that rating so if you felt that the speaker had a good conversational style you'll, you'll check mark effective or put an x and then you'll justify why you gave it that rating now you can print this out and write on it and take pictures of it and submit it as a pdf or pictures in the assignment or you can open it with a um, PDF editing tool like Kami um, and save it as a PDF type into the form and, and save it that way so that is that um, particular assignment and there are places for you to be able to turn this is the only assignment really that you can do ahead of time so if you had a weekend and you really wanted to kind of knock them out you could do that and you can turn those in ahead of time um, i'm not very rigid on turning them in before but you can't turn them in late or they'll start incurring that late penalty okay the last um, assignment obviously assignment set is your speeches that you have you have five of those the first one is an impromptu speech which you're going to be doing this week it is basically for me to just be able to get a good baseline of your impromptu uh your speaking abilities i'll give you lots of feedback things that i want you to work on and, and make kind of your goal for the term um and then you'll get 50 points just for doing the impromptu speech even if you are horrible and <laughs> you have uh false starts and uh and you stutter or you trip over your words you'll get 50 points because it gives me a good baseline of things that i um i can help you develop further um things that you should work on that kind of thing and then the rest of them are all scripted speeches that have a particular um uh purpose and and prompt and that kind of thing so she's going to open one so we can take a look at it together like this is speech number two it's the demonstrative or the demonstration speech it always will have the objective it'll have directions for you how to do a successful speech i gave you a sample on this one like a sample outline like i walked you through a demonstration speech example um and then you will compose your own and and um, and record it and that kind of thing it also tells you whether or not you have to have a presentational aid that kind of thing um, below that are the rubrics for each of the speeches so what i'm looking for as i'm grading you you'll be able to view that beforehand so that you'll have that knowledge and then below that will be a place for you to turn those in Last but not least, I have a um, recording yourself for an online class. This is a, um, a helpful, I guess, resource for you, how to use Capture Media, Capture Capture to record yourself um, when you're doing your speeches um, and then a screencast-o-matic which is what I use extensively um, I just find that it's easier to use than Capture. not that there's anything wrong with Capture. I'm just you know you don't reinvent the wheel if you find something that you're comfortable with and then below that how to use screencast-o-matic with both video and screen so if you're doing a speech that requires a presentational aid you can do both at the same time so that I can see your face um, and see your um, screen um, assignment okay um, below that is the first assignment that is due this week that is located on that course agenda um, it's your about me video introduction 
um, which is due on Thursday, I believe. Yeah, Thursday of this week. Um, and then your impromptu speech will be due Friday of this first week as well. So that, that the instructions for that assignment are there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm looking forward to a great term with you guys in EH 141.